welcome back. I just want to give you a little bit of a tutorial to say you're about to have a final um, in this final assessment in this level one class. And I've given you this competencies and layer masking work sample sheet. Level one, base level one here, all we're going to be doing is masking, simple masking. So let's open up this picture I have in, let's go back a couple of steps. There is our picture. Now, simple masking, I'm going to do, there's two ways you can mask. You can click the masking button and then start painting with your paintbrush. I'm going to do something a little bit quicker here. All I'm going to do is grab my quick selection tool, start painting over this flower. If I hold down option, I'm going to paint back the selection that I don't want. So there it is. Looking at the selection, looking good. I'm going to hold down option again. Save that part right there. And currently it's just selecting the background. This selection, marching ants is going around the background. So I'm going to hit Command Shift I, which is a shortcut for invert. Now when I click the mask button, voila, it's gone. So we're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to save this on our desktop, and I'm going to call this LM1 for layer masking example one. I'm going to save it as a ping file, which is right here. That stands for Portable Network Graphic. Say Save, Save Replace. OK. Open my AI file. And from here, I'm going to go File, Place, LM1, oh, Place right there. And I can click here and drag down, and it will fit perfectly into that spot. So that's exactly how I would do a simple layer mask. The second one, the second one, I'm going to go ahead and open this back up, go back, step back. If, it look, if you look at your assessment here, you would do this three times. This one you're doing through brushes. So I have this image right here. I'm going to do it through a brush. So I'm going to click on the brush tool here. I have a brush already pre-selected. This is one of those fancy brushes I downloaded from BrushEasy.com. So you would do the same, okay, utilizing a brush. Now, if I hit D on my, see my colors are green and yellow right now. If I hit D on my keyboard, if I hit D on my keyboard, I can paint. I did something wrong. I forgot. I got to hit the layer mask button. So I'm clicking the layer mask button, hitting X on my keyboard. I'm going to paint with the um, paint, take it all away. And then if I hit X one more time, 100% on the opacity and click one time, bam, I got the image coming through. So I'm going to save that as a ping file. Okay, I'm going to go to my desktop here. I'm going to call that one LM example 2 ping file. Say save, replace, okay. So again, I would go here, go file, place, looking for that LM example two, it's right there. Click and drag the little box, bada bing, bada boom, there it is. All right, now we're going to layer mask example three. We're gonna pull the masked image through type. So I'm gonna go back to my image here. For this to work, I'm gonna go back to this delete that mask because we're not going to need it just yet. I'm going to grab a text tool, click and drag a text tool over, I'm going to type in the letter M for Mr. Bush. Here we go. There the letter is. I'm going to hold down Command. Command is a shortcut on any layer. If I hold down Command and click it in Photoshop, it gives me the selection of that layer. I'm going to turn that layer off. With the selection still built, I'm going to go back to the image layer and I'm going to click the mask button instantly the letter is being coming through right there. All right, so for this to work, again, we're gonna save this as a what? That's right, we're gonna save it as a ping file. Here, bam, saved as a ping file. Desktop, I'm gonna call this LM example three. Save, replace. Okay, let's go here. So on this level, I'm gonna go file, place. LM example three, layer mask example three. Click that down, bam. All right, so I have an image coming through, layer mask example three. The last one is adding uh, effects to the mask through letters, whether it be color tinning or a drop shadow. So what we have here is the image still available. There it is. We could pull it below it and we can give it a drop shadow. Let's see what that looks like. Let's turn the drop shadow a little to the right. And uh, let's get a little bit of a dark color there. And the distance there. Cool. 
Let's see. Still don't see it there. It's because the layer is not up. Oh, there it is. The layer was off. So now we see it has a, a drop shadow, which is cool. We can do that. That will work. Um, I can double click on the drop shadow and change the color of it. Maybe I want to make that drop shadow a little bit darker. There it is. Say OK. So because of layering, it's all working. Now, what if I wanted to make this color tinted? I'm going to create a layer on top of it. Give it a solid color blend mode. Go to red. Say OK. I'm going to hold down, change this blend mode right here to color. Hold down Option. Hover back with your, your move. Hold down, I'm with the move tool here. Holding down Option, I'm going to click on between these layers. You see that down arrow, that crooked down arrow? When I click one time, that's what I get. The color tint is coming through onto the image and masking. If you follow the tree, you can see how it works. Color tint goes onto the image, the image gets masked, the drop shadow hits on the back. If you have, and so from here, we're going to go to File, Save As, Ping File. And I'm going to call this on the desktop for me, PM LM Layer Mask Example 4. Replace that. Say OK. Go here. Go to File, Place, and Illustrator. File, Place. And voila. So you would do, you would mask several images doing this right here. Just like you did on that step one, just like this step two, step three, and step four. And that would get you proving to me that you're competent in layer masking and you understand that. So, signing off.